Hello, my name is Anderson, the Anderson Bros. Talk Show, here at the Semi Bluegrass Festival, here with Banjo Builder of Criswell's Classic, um, the one and only Richard Criswell. Yeah. Good having you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Great to be here. How do you like it here at the, um, I think it's a real good festival, and they got a good thing going on here. And uh, this is the third year they've had it, and it seems to be uh, what I hear growing. There was a lot of people here last night, and I guess there'll be a lot of people here again today. I'm sure there'll be more this being Saturday in the last day of the festival. How long have you been having the banjos for? Um, we had the uh, Criswell Classic Banjos uh, started building in uh, about 2014, and uh, I did a lot of Gibson uh, pre-war conversions and stuff for several years, but then decided to do uh, my own line of banjos uh, since I learned, you know, a lot about banjos and how to construct them. And where are you from? Uh, we're located down in uh, Monticello, Kentucky, uh, just outside of town, about seven miles uh, outside of Monticello, Kentucky, out in the rural area. And we have a banjo shop and a showroom out there where we build them, and, uh, and we got a showroom where we show them. If folks want to come by the Chriswell Classic Banjo Shop, uh, we're at 1212 Merle Road in Monticello, Kentucky, and uh, we have uh, several banjos already built and in stock there, but that's where we also build them and, and uh, show them in Moss Elton too. How'd you get uh, um, into going banjos? Well, uh, of course I'm 60 years old and uh, I got my first banjo when I was 16 and weirdly enough I take that thing apart to see what made it function, but uh, uh, I've always been interested in, you know, music and banjo especially uh, to try to come up and create uh, the best tone possible for the bluegrass uh, instruments and bluegrass bands. Uh, of course we build uh, a flathead banjo and also build a notch top banjo which we have both with us today and the, of course the arch top uh, has the Stanley, Ralph Stanley sound and of course the flathead will have uh, like the Earl Scruggs and J.D. Crow sound. And, uh, and uh, of course, you know, uh, banjo players, uh, some like the flatheads and some like the archstock. Of course, I assume that the audience loves either one. Yeah. Before I ask you a question about the banjos, let's give your wife Jessica a shout out. Yeah, Jessica, she is uh, uh, really a backbone of this Cresswell Classic Banjo. She travels with me around, and uh, of course we uh, bring her travel trailer, and she makes sure that we've got plenty of food cooked up to eat and, and everything. And uh, and also, uh, you will see later somewhere, uh, I think in the videos that she has, she paints the logos on the Cresswell Classic Banjo cases. And uh, she helps me set up the, the tent and the booth that we have. And uh, we are coming out to these bluegrass festivals uh, and uh, just to show our banjos and show the banjo players uh, our product. Let's show them the um, arch top and the flathead All right. uh, if you can. We'll uh, <coughs> show the uh, uh, arch top first. It, in the camera it's not going to be able to pick it up real good. This one is a, uh, we make them maple and uh, this will have the Ralph Stanley sound. maple flathead and we do a mahogany flathead too but uh, this will be the curly maple flathead and 
it'll have more some more melatonin like uh, you know the uh, JD or Earl Scruggs would have liked. just has a more mellow tone and a lot of banjo players prefer mahogany for the tone. Uh, a lot of people like the curly maple for the beauty of the wood. But uh, that's what we build. We always use on our builds the scrub inlay pattern, but we can do custom builds with different inlays. And what's the difference between an arch top and a flathead? Well, an arch top uh, it has a smaller uh, sound chamber, what gives it its brighter, higher pitch than the flathead. And as we said before, Ralph Stanley introduced the arch top and the, what became known as the Stanley top. And uh, the flathead uh, has a, and, and both tone rings are constructed different. And uh, the arch top, or some of them call the raised head, Comes up and the flathead stays cut inward at like a 30 degree angle inward. And they do produce different tones, which, you know, uh, the audience loves both sounds. Uh, you know, and uh, even some banjo players, uh, they, they say that they would like to have an arch top and a flathead on stage if they do a Stanley sound, then they could grab the arch top. If they do another traditional flathead sound, they could go back to the flathead. But there is different tones that comes out of the banjos, but like we said before, the audience, they love either one. When you get up on stage and, and play arch top, I mean, the crowd goes wild. You get a good flathead picker, and, uh, and the crowd really loves it. Uh, we're here uh, at the Seven Mile Festival, and... Uh, and it seemed like the people that come out here really loves bluegrass music. Good. We want to thank uh, Evan Dickerson uh, for this interview also. Uh, he works very hard to go around and interview, usually interviews the musicians, but uh, we thank you for taking time to interview the Chriswell Classic Banjos. You're welcome. You're welcome, Richard. All right, we appreciate it. You're welcome. And before I let you go, how did you get started playing the banjo? Well, when I was young, I just wanted one, and... Uh, and I had a long distance cousin uh, that had a guitar and a banjo and she was ready to sell, but she wouldn't sell one at a time. She wanted to sell both of them. So uh, my brother bought the guitar, it was a Yamaha for $50. And I bought the K banjo for $50 when I was 16 years old. And uh, it just went from there. And uh, so, uh, we're located down there in Monticello, Kentucky, and we just love bluegrass music and uh, got into building these banjos, and, and we strive, and they're hand-built, and uh, we strive, we use Brook Parts. Brook is one of the best well-known builders, parts makers in the world. He's from Czechoslovakia. But we use the Brook Parts, and we use all selected hand-grade, uh, handmade, uh, workmanship and materials. And, uh, so we strive to build a quality, professional five-string band. What's your, guys, what's just your website so everybody can know about this one? Uh, we don't have a website anymore, but you can find us on YouTube. You can just in a search bar on YouTube, push uh, Richard Criswell or Criswell Classic. Uh, my wife Jessica has a lot of stuff that she posts on Facebook also. And uh, on YouTube, you can find me as Chris World Classic, and uh, you'll search my page, and there'll be a lot of stuff in it that shows our uh, lay, where we turn the rims, uh, how we shape a peg head, uh, how we drill a five-string uh, hole for the five-string key. Just a lot of, a lot of information, more so on Facebook, uh, how that we construct the banjos, a lot of videos, and. Uh, so you'll find us there, and uh, uh, 
Jessica's Facebook page. It's Chris Wells A. Jessica. And, uh, but you can search those. We don't have the website anymore. But uh, we're doing good with the Facebook. A lot of, we have a lot of followers on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks so much, um, Richard. And I appreciate for you. All right, um, appreciate your time. And uh, we'll see you another place somewhere down the road. I'm Evan Durson from the University of Sausage. Live at the 7 Mile Bluegrass Festival. You guys take care. Have a nice day.